Hello guys and welcome back to the Cervix YouTube channel. My name is Michael and here we're all about helping you build a successful career. And on Thursdays we uh, talk about a range of subjects that are of interest to Africans. But today we want to talk about the power of a good story. Stories. There's nothing in the world more powerful than a good story. So what's a story? and why are stories important? Can they help you build a successful career? Can they help you succeed generally in life? Let me know what you think about this in the comment section and I'll be right there with you to hold this conversation. So in this video, we're gonna talk about what stories are. We're gonna look at the structure of a story and we're also going to look at why stories are very important and why human beings can't do without stories. So if you have interest in learning about storytelling and how to do it properly, especially if you're a professional and you want to be able to get into interviews or go make a pitch or uh, you know go out and interact properly with people, then the Skills Me Academy would be the right place for you. I'd encourage you to go sign up and take a course. And if you use our promo code today, you get a discount of up to 10%. How awesome is that? So it's also fair to mention that if you use a promo code to enroll at the Skills Me Academy, we also get paid a little commission and that way we can, you know, keep the channel running and that could be some way we can raise some income to support the work that we do. So go on and sign up right now. Use the promo code. You win, we win, everybody wins and everybody's happy. So go learn about storytelling. So if you're new to the channel, click on the subscribe button, click on the notification bell so that you know every time we make new content and every time we have such great offers as this, you'd be one of the first to know. So give us a like, let us know what you think about the video in the comment section, do you have any questions, do you have any recommendations, put them all in the comment section and I'll be right there to interact with you and if you have any video ideas you'd like us to explore in our future videos do well to let us know now back to the video of the day why are stories so important probably because stories are one of the earliest ways human beings communicated their experiences to one another and we can see this going back to thousands of years ago when cavemen put up drawings telling stories about their daily lives in the caves where they lived and that way people can go in there and they can understand what the life of the ancient caveman was like so we've seen the human person try century after century to improve the rights and systems that exist so that we can document things better and we can tell even better stories so storytelling is part of our dna and that is why it affects most people the same way or at least in some way that's why we have cinemas packed with people who want to experience a story together because good stories have the ability to teach to enlighten to make you feel good to even shed a few tears it doesn't matter but a good story can give us a wide range of experiences starting from very good to very bad right so how does storytelling affect you on a very personal level? Number one, storytelling is a necessity for social interactions. Imagine a world where we did not have to tell stories about anything to anyone. It would be a pretty boring world. <laughs> yeah, it'd be a pretty boring world and I'm sure you totally understand that. So we all have that friend that is very social and tells great stories and is fun to be around and we all just love them, right? But storytelling is something we inherit and some have it and others don't. We all have the ability to tell great stories and you should consider taking that skills me off, alright? Yeah, but beyond social interactions, a good story is very necessary in the workplace. As a matter of fact, you can consider storytelling as a priceless skill in the workplace. And let's talk about that a bit. How do you get a job? First, you, you submit a CV and CV, curricula vita, literally means the story of your life. So if your CV tells a great story, prospective employers are going to want to take a second look and they'll want to invite you to have an interview. When you eventually get into that interview room, do tell a story. 
you want to make sure that you've prepared a series of short, relevant stories, okay, about yourself. If you're a great storyteller, you're likely to come out with a great success story because such powerful questions as tell us about yourself, tell us about a time when. These are questions calling for stories and the more powerful the story you give, the greater the impact, the greater the impression you make on interviewers and increases your chances at getting a job. You want to uh, make a sale. How do you make a sale? You tell a great story. How do you succeed at speaking ideas to prospective investors? You tell a great story. If you want to grow a YouTube channel, you tell a freaking good story. And I have a personal experience with this because when I started this YouTube channel uh, about two years ago, we wanted to talk about nonprofit fundraising, we wanted to talk about workplace skills and competencies, but the channel did not experience any real growth and success until we learned how to incorporate storytelling into the content that we make. And today it's all so different. Yeah? Great. So let's talk about the structure of a story. What is a good story like? In our experience, we know that the most inspiring people that we know in the world today have very outstanding stories that they have told about themselves. They have always you know, created this persona, tried to pass certain messages in certain ways to people and that way they all kind of stood out. But the beauty of telling your story is that you are the creator, the inventor, the director, you're the hero of your own story. And it would be a big, big shame if you did not take full advantage of this. So be the hero of your story and get to weave a really good one all around yourself. You know, let's look at an interview scenario. It is what you tell us that we're going to know. It's often better if you tell the truth. But you can also clean that truth up so that it's a lot more dazzling than it would ordinarily be. Besides, everybody tells a story from a certain perspective. We cannot dissociate ourselves from sentiment and bias. So here's an ancient proverb for you. A rusty shield says to the sun, dazzle me. And the sun says to the shield, polish yourself. So I'd encourage you to polish yourself up today and never underestimate the power of a good story. So what does a good story look like? Well, depends on who you are and who you're telling the story to, but stories usually have three main parts. A story often begins with a desire, something a person needs or wants, something a person is ready to go all out for, but along the line there's a conflict. Yeah, that's what makes it all so interesting. And then there's a resolution. So every resolution is not necessarily a happy ending. Sometimes it's a happy ending. Sometimes it's just a resolution to the conflict. So things can either return to the way they were at the beginning or everything gets all so good and also better. So when you tell a story about yourself, it's important that you understand your audience, the people to whom you speak, because then you can store up the right sentiments, the right emotions, to help them perceive your hero, to help them perceive you the way you want to be perceived. And then you can have the right impacts. Know this, storytelling is a great exercise, but unless it's objective, it's a total waste of time. So I'd encourage you to develop that story if you haven't had the time to. And when you create that story about yourself, about the circumstances of your life, about your work history, about the product you've been working on, make sure it's a freaking good story because that story can change your life. That story can change the world. So what are you waiting for? Go tell the story. And if you need some help, Skills Me Academy is right there for you. So go to the description and you find everything you need to know about getting started and becoming the greatest storyteller the world has ever seen. Good luck with that. And if you still haven't subscribed to the channel, now is a good time to click on the subscribe button, click on the bell so you're notified every time we make new content. Give us a thumbs up and let us know what you thought about this video in the comment section. If you have any conversations you'd like to have about Skills Me Academy, let's talk about it in the comment section. All right, thank you very much and go check out all the videos in the channel. That's how we grow. Thank you.